Hello, friends. It's me, Kit. When I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today, we're going to do something maybe a little bit fun. Uh, we've got tons of totes just like this that are filled with all kinds of interesting Knight Rider stuff. Some of it is your common merchandise, but most of it is stuff that's um, a lot rarer. So um, I just thought, you know, let's make a video and go through one of these totes. I have no idea what's in here. Um, yeah, I packed it away a long time ago, and I don't think I've had it out in, I don't know, a year or so, maybe longer. So um, let's just kind of go through it and see what we can find. All right. So, we've got our Knight Rider Darda Demons car still mint in package. Well, the car's mint. The package is a little worse for wear. Um, we actually don't usually collect um, merchandise that was, or at least I personally don't, that was available for the show. Um, I'm more interested in the stuff used in the production and whatnot, but, um, you know, people obviously know that I like the show and things like this are, uh, are given to me and, uh, it's wonderful. So this was something that was, uh, given to me a couple years ago. Uh, talking Viewmaster, uh, cartridges. So I've kept this all these years because I've always been con been um, curious as to the talking portion on these discs. Are they just clips from the show um, or is it something different? But I have yet to actually spend the money to buy the talking Viewmaster so I can actually play these and see what's on them. But one day I probably will. I don't know. I don't think I've ever really seen the talking Viewmaster Knight Rider set before. I've seen just the, the um, regular uh, Viewmaster discs, but I've never seen this talking one before. So I want to I want to do some more exploring and figure out um, exactly what is on these. I know it's from Speed Demons. The pictures are, so I'm assuming that uh, they're just audio clips from the show. But I will hopefully find out one day. All right, so let's see what we have here. Oh, so this stack is a syndicated press kit. So um, this was in 1985, 1986, whenever Universal was selling the show to um, syndicators. And you can see inside, it's got all kinds of, um, you know, it's got uh, press photos of the cast. There's some other, ah. Some other photos there of David Hasselhoff. And then, yeah, there's all kinds of um, demographic information on what women watch and what men watch and what young folks watch. So, um, press kit and then a whole stack of bios um, promotional documents, and then a syndicated um, guide to each one of the episodes. That's why this is so thick. Each episode has um, basically a short uh, description, then a longer one than the cast and credits. So I'm assuming this is for um, whenever they would program the shows on their on the syndicated network, they would use this information um, maybe for the TV guide, for... Um, newspapers, things like that, I'm thinking. I don't know. But, syndicated press packet. I forgot I had that. Let's put that back in there. Oh, what else do we have? Nothing. Well, this is not related to the show directly, but it's a GMC General brochure just because we all love the gmc general and we know why oh what else do we have in here oh so this is um from a couple years ago our friend jim suva um sent us these we had um 
provided uh, some information. We were in an article in one of these smoke signals. So uh, Jim was kind enough to send us a couple uh, copies for our collection. So we have them right here, safe and sound. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, so we've got a whole bunch of transparencies. These are kind of cool. So I don't know if you can see them. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But um, these are original press slides. Uh, Patricia McPherson, there's some from Night Racer. Nice shot of Kit's Dash, Inside Out. You don't see too many um, original slides on um, eBay or anywhere else for sale. So that's what those are. We've already scanned these in at a super high resolution. So we have copies of those. Um, what else do we have in here? So this was given to us by Bob Brawler. Bob, as you may know, um, was the stunt coordinator on Night Rider for the first season, and he did some work on the second season as well. So he provided us, um, this is an old Night Rider. There's some behind the scenes shots from Riptide. Um, I think that's maybe Fall Guy. Here's Galactica 1980. There's a really nice shot from Fall Guy. Uh, there's a behind the scenes shot from No Big Thing of the stunt work there. Uh, what else do we have? Another shot of Bob with Lee Majors from Fall Guy. Let's see if there's any Knight Rider ones in here because I think that's what you guys are more interested in than all these other shows. That's from White Bird, the uh, airplane crash. This is really cool. This is a shot from the pilot. Um, it's actually dated August 1982, which is right about when it was filmed. Um, but that's the, what is that, a, a pipe ramp, I think it's called, where they flip the car over. So there's kind of the behind the scenes shot of that from the pilot. And then this shot from Give me liberty, give me death. Let's see here. Oh, there's also dated November 1982 from Trust Doesn't Rust. There's a shot of car breaking into the museum. Oh, what else do we have here? So this, yet another stack of uh, promo photos. Um, there's some there. This was given to us, uh, a number of years ago by Gino Grimaldi's family. And Gino, as you know, was a producer on the show and, um, he sadly passed away a number of years ago, but, um, we had been talking to his widow and, um, she was kind enough to, um, give us Gino's, um, possessions that, um, he had from Knight Rider. So, um, you know, we take really good care of that, but it's really neat because you have shots like this that you would never see anywhere else where this is Gino Grimaldi. This is John Penner, the director of photography. And, uh, this was on the set of Night of the Juggernaut in Chicago, just a real candid shot of the people that made the show. There's a shot from Night Strike. Um, that's Gino Grimaldi and, um, Mary Kate McGeehan from, uh, Jennifer Knight from, um, Night of the Juggernaut in between takes. And what's really cool here is you can actually see her script and you can see that she's highlighted her lines. Uh, awesome shot of Jack Gill on the set of Night Strike. So, I mean, there's, I don't know, 70 shots here. So all the, all original from uh, 1980s. So this is something super cool and I've never seen another one. I'm gonna take it out of here. This was a mail away item from early in the show's first season where you could, um, you know, you could mail away to the show and you would get back these two things. You'd get back this signed picture signed by David Hasselhoff, um, dated December, 1982. But then this, which I've never seen before, is they would mail out copies of Kit's Tire Tread. 
I know they did this with the Dukes of Hazzard and with the General Lee, but I've never seen it uh, prior to this with Kit. And uh, if you look at this, this is actually a Goodyear Eagle GT tire tread, which is exactly what Kit had. So that's kind of Kit's autograph and David's autograph. And what's equally as cool is the envelope it came in, which is this profile shot of Patricia McPherson with her signature at the bottom. So um, we found this, I don't know, 15 years ago on eBay. And, um, and it's been uh, in our collection ever since. You can see the return address, Knight Rider in Burbank, California. Very cool. One of a kind, I think. Never seen another one like it in 15 years. All right, what else do we have in here? Let's see. This stuff wouldn't be of interest to you. We'll just move that to the side. What do we have here? Oh, so this is another oddball item. This is a record that we found on um, eBay a while ago. And what caught our attention is, uh, it says TV Tonight, um, and it's it has a sticker on it, it says April 8th Night Rider, more than they've bargained for. So um, this is some kind of a mass-produced record, TV Tonight with Ron Hedren. And uh, we listened to it, and it wasn't anything too exciting. It was basically this guy giving reviews of different shows and Knight Rider was one of them and he wasn't too kind to it. He didn't particularly care for it, but um, maybe we'll uh, we'll digitize this so you guys can hear it. But uh, another kind of oddball item. Oh my, so much stuff. So let's see what else we have in here. So this is neat. This is neat. A lot of you guys have seen this cast and crew photo. Uh, this was done at the end of the second season. Uh, I believe this came from Tom Green, but we also have a copy from Gino Grimaldi. A number of the folks that worked on the show um, got copies of this. But one of the other things that uh, Gino's widow gave to us is Gino's original Knight Rider um, clipboard. So you can see here, he's, it's got Knight Rider 84 engraved in it, and at the bottom, producer Gino Grimaldi. So this is what he would use whenever he was walking around. He'd have maybe the call sheets or production reports on this. Um, lots of history with this piece. Again, never seen another one, another one like it. Very unique. Um, so this is also from Gino family. Um, this is, some of you guys have seen this, this is one of only a couple photos of David Hasselhoff and William Daniels together. And um, what's unique about this is this is the, this is an original print from the uh, Christmas party, the 1982 Christmas party for season one where they initially met. So this is uh, symbolic of when they initially met. But what's neat is they're, it, it's signed by both David and William Daniels back in the day. And David says, uh, to Gino, who is this guy with an arrow pointing this way, David Hasselhoff. And then William Daniels wrote, Gino, it's just you and me, kid, Bill Daniels, AKA Kit. And it's in its original frame. Um, we took, we took it out of the frame just to see if there's any writing on the back. The only thing on the back is the date, which is January, 1983, which again, leads credence to the fact that this was December 82 Christmas party. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, so another thing from, like, apparently this is the Gino Grimaldi box uh, for a lot of this stuff. We must have put it all in here together. So this is a plaque that was given to um, at least Gino. I don't know if it was when the show ended or, or when, but um, I know I've seen, I think another cast or crew member showed us there. So this was given out to a number of people, but it's basically the intro um, picture of the intro with producer Gino Grimaldi on here. It's a nice little keepsake um, made in North Hollywood back in uh, the 80s. So that's from Gino's family as well. And that's not very exciting there. Let's see what else. Since we're on the topic of Gino, this is probably the coolest thing we got from um, Gino's family. So as many of you know, um, Gino uh, was a producer on the show, but he also directed an episode. He directed um, Night of a Thousand Devils. 
And this is his original director's binder for that episode. So inside is just, just a wealth of really, really cool um, information. I mean, there's, let me put some of this stuff over here. There's the staff and crew list for all four years of the show. So you can see how it changed. And this, this is, goes down to, um, you know, every person pretty much that worked on the show from all the way from Glenn Larson and his extension at Universal, all the way down to um, the grips and, you know, the, the gates at Universal and, and whatnot. So um, you can see it's, and we've got each one of these is a different year. So it's revised, you know, there's a revised date, 83, 84, 85, 86. They're all in here. And then we have his um, original script for Night of a Thousand Devils with all of his notes, just all of his notes in here. I mean, it's, it's crazy. All the different notes, the folded down pages. Um, I mean, just look at that. Just a wealth of information. There's staff and crew list 85, 86 kit lines so this is um this section right here kit lines let's see if i can find the first page here so this is um probably what was given to william daniels to record so it's um night of a thousand devils kit lines as of january 13th 1986 and it says re-recorded january 15th 86 what sound roll it's on so this is probably what william daniels looked at whenever he was recording very very cool So let's put this back together here. Hope you guys are having fun. Let's see what else we have in here. Ah, so you might have seen, we had, did another video on these, so I'm not going to go into too into depth. But if you um, look at our previous videos, it's called, I think, Night Vault screen used license plates we go into detail on these but these are two of the original screen used car license plates um, we did have four of them at one point but we sold two of them so you can see um, one's a little worse for wear than others but um, so we got those and since we're on the topic of license plates um, we'll just go through these real quick so these i bought from a uh, um, abandoned Los Angeles storage locker a number of years ago. I bought 400 prop license plates and there were a few of them from Knight Rider, some from Airwolf and Smokey and the Bandit and whatnot. But um, it was a pure, I purchased it almost blindly and uh, it turned out to be something really cool. So these plates are from, these are the plates that were on um, Michael's Jeep from Lost Night and um, these plates were on Garth's limo from Goliath Returns. This is the truck at the end of Hearts of Stone that Kit Turbo Boost into. Um, all original plates. These were made out of masonite because they were just um, not hero plates, I suppose. They, you could say they were just kind of like background plates or, or other car plates. So, um, so we'll see what else we have in here. More license plates. So this is our original night plate. As you can see, it's got a little bit of uh, wear as I drop it. Luckily, it landed on something soft. That's embarrassing. Um, and then this is um, one of the tour car plates. So you guys probably have seen pictures of the tour cars and the eye was always crossed on it where the screen use plates weren't. But this is an original tour car plate. Let's see what else we have in here. Uh, just some more plates. These are um, not original plates, but uh, we, uh, a number of years ago, we found the guy who made the original plates for the show, and he had enough new old stock material left that he made us um, six plates. So these were made by the same guy that made all the plates on the show, but these are only about 10 years old. But the materials date back to when the show was on the air. And he also gave us all the uh, original stickers, registration stickers, month and year that they put on those. 
Oh, what else do we have in here? That's nothing of interest. Um, most of this stuff is not stuff that you're interested in. This is something that you're interested in. Let me take it out very carefully. This is an original Knight Rider clapperboard. Um, this was from, uh, what episode is this from? We've tracked it down based on the, uh, the date. Um, and I'd have to look it up. I can't remember. It was obviously a first season episode, uh, maybe White Bird, but uh, directed by Bob Brolver. I'm not sure if he directed that one, but um, our Mets. Yeah, so that's our original Knight Rider clapperboard. Very, uh, never seen another one. Another original clapperboard out there. So we keep it in this nice padded envelope. One day we'll actually build a proper display for it. And what else do we have in here? These are, so this is an original business card from the show. Um, there's a couple episodes, uh, Night Song is one I can think of where Michael hands someone a business card and you don't really get an excellent look. You can kind of just see a pass like this, but as far as we can tell, this is an original business card. And then these are original um, placards that they would put in the crew vehicles whenever they were on location, just to say that they were with Knight, the Knight Rider production. Put those in here. Um, this is an original ornament bag that was given out um, at one of the Christmas parties. I don't have the actual original ornament that um, was in it, but I do have a couple original crew pins. And what else is in here? Anything else that's of interest? Uh, that's not original. That's not original. I really need to go through these. Original David Hasselhoff pin. And that's probably about it. That's exciting in there. Um, what else do we have in here? Lego kit that uh, one of our fans built us a number of years ago. Um, super nice guy. He messaged us, said, I build custom Legos. Would you like one of kit? And we said, sure. And he sent it to us. So still have that. Um... Done. Some TV guides. Some Night Rider articles in them. Nothing too awfully exciting. And we're getting near the bottom here, but here's our original crew. Um, this was a gift in Christmas of 84, crew clock. This is not metal, this is glass, and it's about 75% the size of a real license plate. So we keep that in a nice box. Um, just weird stuff like this. Number one with a bullet VHS. The reason we have this is because the original screen use semi actually makes an appearance in this movie. Um, the GMC General, the trailer's not in it, but the GMC General is. So we have that. And I think besides our uh, collection of Columbia House DVDs, which I'm not sure why we have these anymore. I think that is about all that's in here that is exciting, maybe. Uh, what's this? Now we have a number of original Comlink watches. Not, <laughs> not screen use Comlink watches but uh, donor watches, which a number of you guys have some of these, the original um, Advance or, oh, the names are escaping me. There's a number of different names for these um, watches. Gala, I think is one, but we've got a number of those watches in here. So 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip. This was a nice trip down memory lane for me. Um, I've got a number of these totes um, still to go through. So if this is something you liked, let me know in the comments and we can go through um, my other totes and you just never know what kind of interesting things will pop up. But um, please do me a favor, be sure to like and subscribe to this uh, channel, share this video, um, check out our Patreon community, and um, we've got a number of great and exciting videos coming up soon. So, thanks for watching. And now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera? Oh well, you know what I mean. We are featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider prop restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider history hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.